Hi everyone, just wanted to stop by and say hello real quick before the episode starts. So we had a little bit of a hiccup this week. The audio, the memory card that we use to store our audio got corrupted. So when I plugged it in, um, well actually our whole device froze um, and didn't save any of the audio from this episode. Uh, And so the options were either can it or work on the audio. So I spent hours and hours this week making the audio um, as not awful as I could. So thank you everyone in advance, uh, one for listening and watching and also for bearing with us this week. Um, I think it's safe to say if Grimes can go to a professional event and not practice or do any prep work before, then I think that's okay that we have a little leniency this week in the audio. Um, Just again to clarify, I do not need any advice or any tips or tricks. Um, I spent a ton of time trying to make this as listenable as possible. So thank you guys again for bearing with us. We appreciate you all so much. Um, And I hope you enjoy the episode and the conversation and the content uh, that's within this episode. Thank you. Bye, everyone. You don't get to do the like, oh, like give me a break because it's just a silly project that's fun and it's meant to be like whatever, but also I'm I'm transcending I'm creating gay pop. Yeah. No. <laughs> you can't you can't have both. Can't like pick a bowl. I would say, I was gonna say hunker down, but that's not right, because that sounds like it <laughs> watch fall out, so maybe yeah, that's why. Yeah, like settle in. Yeah, I, settle we, in, settle down. We watched the first, is it just the one episode that we watched together, or two? We only watched one episode together. You, oh, it's just uh, really long episode. Yeah. We watched yeah, the first like episode together. Long. The first one was like an hour and a half. As, um... It's a Disney movie. I have never, I always try the Fallout games, and I just, I'm not that interested in them. Um, yeah. But I love the universe, I love the lore, I, I love like the, the premise, a yeah, lot. I love the wasteland stuff or whatever too. Yes. The series is really good. I'm like six episodes deep. Yeah. I did that in I'm one. Really in it. I'm I am in it now, but um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. It is yeah. gory. It is definitely gory, yeah. and I think that's that's the same problem we have with why you can't watch. Um, yeah. Like I would love. Things. I would love. Amazon does not fuck around when it no. comes to their. Yeah, the boys. I had a really hard time with. You've never watched the boys. You've never watched. That's you watched Gen true. B. You watched Gen B. I watched Gen B, but I watched like two or three episodes of the boys with you because it is a really good show. Yeah. And I wanted to watch it with you, but after like there was one episode in particular. It's I the octopus I, episode. I was not going to talk about it, but no. <laughs> it's really distressing. It's a, it's a distressing show. Yeah, it's, it's... I struggle a lot. We talked about this in the horror movie video. That, like, some people can't appropriately detach themselves from media, and, like, that's very much me. Oh. I experience, like, a really high really, empathy response for made-up people. Thing. Probably, maybe like, autistic really, like, thing, too. Putting yourself in there? Yeah. Um, speaking of ADHD things, what? you made fun of me again for this this morning. I didn't think it was that weird. <laughs> I went on a run. Yeah. So I'm sweaty. I'm stinky. Yeah. So I started to take my clothes off. To get a shower. So, yeah, I was going to yeah. go shower. But then you were starting to make the bed, yeah. and so I was like, oh, let me help you, but I'm naked. So I was like, yeah. oh, I'll just help. I don't care. Like, I'll just help you <laughs> make the bed. And you said that's the most ADHD thing I've ever seen. But like, yeah. I was being a good partner helping you make the I, bed. I wasn't saying you weren't being a good partner. I do my best chores after running, actually, I'm noticing, because the other day when I cleaned the shower, you're so I'm like, you're, I'm, I gotta get in the shower anyway, so I might as well, so I just, like, I started cleaning it, and I was like, oh, yes. I gotta get in here, so I just slowly, like, as uh-huh. I do chores... I just Your become, come I, I'm like That's Donnie, true. I'm like Donnie Thornberry, I just slowly <laughs> they become do just kinda, more, yeah. also this shirt is so like it's 90s, so early 2000s. Do you want to pull your mic out of the way so people can um, really appreciate it? I, they don't make shirts like this anymore. No, they the don't. The fabric like this feels like childhood to me. The brand like, I don't know is how to really nice. It. I don't know how to the explain it. The brand we got this from is called Dangerfield. I love this. And the quality of the shirts, because I got one too, I don't have it on right now, but. like It's not like a. I wear it on stream on Friday, yeah. and it the fabric is, like, super thick, and it's very soft. It feels, like, very high quality. The clothes were, like, a little bit expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, they weren't cheap. Especially because the shipping was from Australia, I'm pretty sure. But, like, first of all, it got here pretty fast, and second of all, yeah. like, the quality is actually pretty good, so I might buy some more shit from there. I, I'm about somebody to. Somebody from stream recommended it, and I was like, okay, you know, we'll do, like, an exploratory mission yeah. with, like, one or two things, and, like... I really like that. I uh, the the tank top that I have it has life. like a little patch in the middle with a rainbow background. You were on stream yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, and it has like a frog, um, like a little gay frog, yeah. and it's so cute. But it's also like the thing. I think the reason I like that shirt so much is because it's like literally the perfect balance of like oh. being a genderless blob. Yeah, that but it just like looks sort of cute. Little sailor gay. Yes, almost, it is or... like kind of sailor, like seventies ra- roller skating. Yeah. Oh, we're talking about like the short shorts and yes. the fucking high tops. And... Yes. yes. Yeah. There's like like a touch of like mask to it yeah but it's like still kind of femi but also like kind of agender in a way 
It's like weirdly affirming. I don't know how to explain it. It's like perfect. It's but kind of, that tank top is my tank. gender. Identity. It's kind of the perfect tank. Yes. Like I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's so interesting how different. Like it's so funny how clothes. Like it's just clothes. Like it's t-shirts. Yes. Like they should all be the same. Sure. Yeah. Like how but different they can be. Yes. Depending on what. Yes, and how they make you feel. Yeah, because also these, so these don't feel like the like when you take a big. Like when you iron them on or whatever. Yes, and they're all yes, yucky. stiff and yes. hard to wear. Yeah, yeah, like it's so. Yeah, it's or when they like stick to you inside yes. the shirt. Oh, That's the worst feeling. Oh, this wish because it's hot yeah. here a lot. Yes. You know that thing when you have like ten different things you want to say, but you can only yes. say one Spirit sentence ADHD. at a time. Yes. Yeah, there's like eighty-five thoughts in my head right now. That's bad. Um, space. I think the thing that I want to talk about first. Mm-hmm. Are we ready to get into it? Well, I do have one more thing that I want to address with your ADHD stuff first. Oh, please do. Because the reason I said that, to be clear, is because what was happening is that you were like, okay, I'm going to get in the shower because you like the cold water, which is wacko to me. Um, Awesome. Thank you so much. I just dropped on my head. Like, statistically, it's proven that um, taking a cold shower in the morning improves cognitive ability throughout the day and wakes you up or whatever. And I just do the word cognitive and statistic, yeah. and you couldn't help yourself. I'm gullible. And you just took me, you just took me in my word. Yeah. That also might be a real thing that I actually have read somewhere. Well, that was but. the thing, is that I know that, like, for example, dunking your face in ice water is a good grounding oh, activity. Yeah. Because it resets your nerves, because your vagus nerve is right here. Yeah. And so, it's, like, in your chest, right? So, like, that's not, like, with my, like, context about it, I was like, oh, okay, that kind of tracks, actually. I guess you probably could, like... Like reset your vagus nerve in the morning yeah. by taking a cold shower, and that would like help. I sometimes like, like doing it if you're anxious. So it makes me laugh. That's wild. I know. I, I saw like a crazy. I saw like a like that. I probably sound like a fucking maniac or something a in the shower, bit. just like giggling to myself. <laughs> or something. Yeah. It's like when you do like Especially, a cold plunge or something. Or yeah. Like, well, yeah. and because you'll do the thing too where you're in there and like we'll be talking while you're in the shower. And you're like, <gasps> it's so cool. Yeah. It feels so good after you're done though. It's so. <laughs> but also, too, I don't think people forever. realize. Because here in the next couple months now, there's no more cold water. I don't no. get cold water anymore. Yes, it, fair. You, get, you, have, you get 30 seconds, not even. Like, you know you turn you the shower on and most people wait? Yes. My, those 30 seconds, like, that's you my go time. That's those. my jam. That's yes. my Super Bowl. Also, I wasn't done. You interrupted I'm so sorry. me again. Go, go. What I was saying is that while this was happening, you're, like, asking, can you get in the shower? Yeah. Because you want the cold water. So you started to get undressed and, like, started to walk towards the bathroom and I was like, oh, okay, while you're doing that, I'll, like, do the bed. Like, in my brain, I said this to myself. Because that's sort of our norm, that, like, I get yeah. up after you because I'm a sleepy boy. So I usually make the bed because, like, I get out of it last. Like, that's just, I don't know, it feels fair to me. Yeah. So I start making the bed, and then you walk back away from the bathroom and walk back towards the bed while you're naked. And you're like, oh, I'll help you. <laughs> so, did I make it that far? Yes. I don't like, think I made it that far. Yes, you did. You but- made it past the chest at the end of our bed. Yeah, at least no, like, to the edge of it. Yeah, I because I was like, oh, this is I, on my way. This I is watched on my you go, and I was like, that's a bold move to get that close to that chest while you're naked because you smack your knee on it all the time. God, it's so sharp. Yeah. You need to have little bumpers on you there. Do. It's but sharp. The point that I'm making is that it was like from the outside when somebody has ADHD, you can like so easily observe their little brain being like, er, like left, <laughs> left turn. I'm sure. And, and you like, watched back it, 30 seconds. It like, happens to me all the time. Yeah. But it's funny being on the outside and watching it happen to someone else because I'm like, oh, that's probably what I look like. Like, a lot of the time. But it was just, it was cute. I thought it was funny. Oh, well, thank you. And I'm sorry you helping. Part, right? but it was helpful. Yeah, it from a good I appreciate place. you helping me, but I just thought it was funny, because it was, like, so obviously, yeah. like, I watched your brain be, like, new thing to focus on, and, like, I, changed, oh, changed your path. I feel like that, too. That's, like, the thing with just getting ready to get into it, too, with the music and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I also, I'm just going to trigger warning this episode. What? Because I'm, like, coming out of a low-key, like, depressive episode, and so I'm, like... I'm like on the roller coaster up. Oh, oh, so I'm got it. probably gonna be bebopping and hip hopping all over this fucking mic today. That's valid. So just Wait, fucking bubbling. You're for what? Like aggressive energy? What no, you I don't know. Just I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna tangent more than oh, once, and also valid. talk about music. So there's gonna be like yeah. five things going if on. If you're there. if you're not one of our neurodivergent friends who is unbothered by us uh, switching topic every yeah. five seconds, this episode might push your buttons. So, sorry in advance. This episode, I push your buttons for another We're thing. just sort of skippity bippities today, so. I'm to make so many fun little words. We do. <laughs> You're the naming of the town. I cannot wait to explore. Oh, I'm so It excited. looks like a fucking map to Disneyland. It like, is. genuinely, it's the most incredible That's the gag. thing I've ever seen someone make. Yes. Also, the the ADHD was in full effect this yes. week because yeah. you have, like, hyper-focused on that map. For, like, yeah. You probably work, like, 
32 hours on it easy. Yeah. Like, yeah. that I'm aware of. I understand now why people charge so much money for maps and, like, for Patreons and stuff where they give you, like, map building tools yeah. and stuff. Because the amount of time and energy that goes into making it actually look good is just next level. It's so I, intense. You're... <sighs> Your, like, innate ability to make and be creative, it really Thanks. must be. No, I think it's I you. Think... You're just a creative oh, little being. That's very like, nice. Are, yeah, yeah, I mean it. So for real. Like, I, I'm i like, I'm sure I could have made that to some degree. But yeah. like, I think it's the amount of detail. Also, too, can we just talk about the different shading makes? Oh, I know. I think it's, like, also, I think it's... I wasn't going to do it either, but then I looked yeah. at some source material stuff, and I was like, oh, I should add some shading in and here. And you did it once. But that's, that's the thing, too, is once you do it once, I think that's the same thing with music, too. Like, when you learn a new technique or something, yes. you're like... Fuck, like, I can't yeah. not do this now. it makes it so much better. Yes. I think sometimes yeah. why it's so hard, too. Like, I almost relish, or, like, relish? Yeah. yeah relish, relish is a condiment, and you can relish something. Yeah, relish. You, that time when, like, you first start a, a craft or a hobby, hobby. or something, yeah. and you don't know any of the rules or the things yes. you're supposed to do. Or it's, you're like, you're, like, a little baby. Yes. Yes, yeah, you're a little baby, and you're, you're gonna just bound. do shit wrong, and, and uh, fucking, yes. just fucking throw up on a... Yes canvas or thing and like yes. just make it however you want and like hey, but also this yes. is why i love new players in D D. fair because oh. they're not used to the confines that a yes. lot of people exist in so yes. the creativity is like off the charts yeah like it's so good like watching people who've never played D before play for the first time and they come up with these things of being like oh well can i do this and you're like like looking at the rules and stuff you're like I, yes. like I would have never thought to do it that way. One of my friends, it's just yeah. so like life giving. Uh, one of my friends is in a group, and it, there's this one person who's like strict about the rules. Yeah. And he was talking about he's like genuinely it's like ruining my experience. Yeah. He's, like it's not. It's not fun. Like of course, like I know there need to be like like guidelines and parameters and stuff. No, of course. But like to what degree? Broken. Yeah. Yeah. Can we also talk about that? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I need the Red Bull. Yeah, that's valid. Maybe but it tastes so good. I haven't had one in a really Do you have some long water? time. I've been drinking water. I have one sip of that, one sip of that. Okay. I have a system. Okay. I have a, a one. Uh, it's like FIFO, but for uh, for drinks. For drinks. <laughs> Fair. Um, but yeah, like someone is like so stringent with the rules and stuff, and he's like, yeah. it's like genuinely ruining my experience. This is not fun. Yeah. The thing about people who are really legalistic about the rules that's funny to me is that like it, obviously it's important to abide by the guidelines yeah. because you don't want the game to be broken and like. Part of the fun of it yes. is like actually overcoming a challenge, right? So if you completely oh, yeah. got the rules so that nothing is ever challenging, you don't really get like the yeah. victory high. But at the same time, like this is the same way that I feel about people who shit their pants about people being queer or trans or whatever oh, in D and D. Some people get really upset about it. Oh, um, gross. and like Give me we're a break. literally a bunch of fucking grown ups <sighs> taking our little toys and moving them around on a pretend map piece pretend. of paper. We're playing pretend with our imaginations. And if we're going to suspend reality to say that you can be a cat man, <laughs> I get to be trans or gay, okay? Like, if you, if you get to be a fallen angel celestial yeah. person with magic powers who can, like, manipulate people's minds, guess what? Guess we can what? bend the rules a little. Literally. Like, also, it's fine. I know. We'll all survive. Also, it's I'm just so absolutely. excited to find out that fairies are uh, agender. Yeah, or, yeah. Yeah, because I'm playing a little fairy, a little, uh, not really, like, I don't know, a, a little twink fairy just made sense yeah, to me. Yeah, it does. I love, I love them. I'm so I love excited. Them so much. Yeah. Um, I can't it's wait to, I can't wait to role play as them. I know. Weekend. I love the RP aspect of D&D. Oh, me too. We got so some fun. good, we got some good players in this in this squad. Oh yeah, speaking, that's what so I was going to say too. Yeah. Like that's the thing I talked about too, like um, FCG this week. Fucking. Oh, this spoilers. Hold on. Oh, spoilers. Oh my God. Spoilers, if you spoilers, haven't watched spoilers, the episode, spoilers. the most recent episode at this point, I think it's episode 90. It is episode 91. Episode 91, Critical Role, spoiler alert. Yeah. If trigger you have warning. not watched episode 91 of care. Critical Role and you care, don't watch this. Skip past this, like skip forward by like five minutes or 10 minutes or yes. something. Because spoilers. Spoilers. Okay. Yeah, I was coming home from work and just so happened to say, I was like, oh, they're in combat. And I was like, oh, they're fighting uh -huh. Otahan. And I was yeah. like, oh, shit, what did I fucking miss? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'll just plop down. And like, normally if it's already been so long, I'm like, I'm not going to ask questions. It's I'm just going to sit down and take it as it is. Sure, yeah. And then the next thing I know, FCG is sending himself <gasps> barreling, fucking shooting his arcane. He, um, his little arcane core, he blew yes. himself up. Oh my god, to oh, save the party? I know. That was such a Also, touching... Sam's little speech. Oh, I'm so Oh my god. It was that's so been good. like, it's that's been, I know, same. That's been a through line wow. through like the whole campaign mm -hmm. is that like FCG is not really convinced that he's really alive. Oh. And he has like all of moment. this inner turmoil. And that's why he has this whole journey with the change bringer and like trying to find a deity and all this stuff. And he like finally found this like meaning of life and being alive and like his yes. friends and then fucking 
blew himself up. Oh. I we were both watching the, the couch party, bawling. Watching the party react to was so oh, hard. God, it was they do so such. Sad. I know people like rag on them and like pick sure, yeah. apart every fucking decision, but also to like like in that moment too, it was like this is like such a genuine game between yes. friends. Yes, like that's why it's so fun to watch. And, like such a like what a yeah. moment to cherish. Yes. like watching all of these friends like yep. we get to just be there and be a part of it, and who are like genuinely attached to each other's yeah. characters too. I like to think too like all of that like that's happening in other people's. Oh, it definitely campaign. is. So, yeah, it's yeah. so sweet. I love it. Um, which is also such a fucking boner why Wizards of the Coast or Wizards of the yeah Wizards of the Coast um, are such fucking boners like capitalistic Fuck fuckers hotel, for real literally for just being such like money hungry like. It's yes. so transparent, too. Yes. Like, it's just so, oh, God, this segue is going to be so fucking good. <laughs> but it just becomes so transparent when you're trying, when you're just, yes. like, building. It basically, it's like, oh, I want that. I want that. Like, yeah. Yeah. or, you know, like, give me my own. Give me my cut. Yes. And yeah. And also, too, I'm willing to cheapen this product yes. and make the user experience, like, less positive because I want more money. Yes. And, like, I don't respect and that. And because when you do that for art and with yes. art, it becomes soulless. And it's hollow, yes. and it turns into songs like "Karma's a Bitch" yes. by JoJo Siwa. It's actually, just called and, Karma. Oh, I'm sorry. Even worse. Yeah. And it doesn't even matter. Like, also, there's more than three words in that song, and I don't know what any of them are. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, because it's just like it's the same six words repeated over and over again. I'm gonna say this right now, and as a person who like shame eats me alive. Yeah. Like shame, genuine shame, shame and perception, and like perfectionism yeah. like I for sure I because also to have this contrasted like we went from Jojo Siwa to Chapel Chapel really, Chapel sorry no it's fine I, I always do it wrong I, I always want to say Chappelle brain, it's Chappelle yes I know I, and I have to think so hard and I'm like it's not it's Chappelle it's like I'm like I know. I'm fucking Spongebob and they're like which one is it it, like, it, it has helped me to remember that like like She's not a religious person, but it's like a funny joke. Chapel. chapel. Oh, so it's that, like a chapel. Oh, helped my someone brain. was like, "Oh, that's not what it would be like." Yes, but it is. But it's like, yeah. Oh, okay, that got helped it. my brain. Anyways, but then that song, that song, uh, "Good Luck, Babe," is so good. Oh. I genuinely was like, I don't think I'm gonna work on music anymore. Like, I was like, I think, <laughs> I think this no. song, I, was like, I think this song single handedly did everything. I would. Oh. It's, it, it comes from such a place of envy, like yeah. watching other people create. Such yeah. good fucking art, yes. and like the lyrics and the production yeah. and the ba- like the, the mix and everything on it is so wonderfully perfect. Yes. And it's like so, it's just like this feeling of like, uh-huh. like I'm not gonna be able to do that. I like, I have, I have I envy know. to work with. Um, I don't give a fuck about like perform- if I could just be a part of something like yes. that. Yes, I'm like yeah. so, so that- but also, too, that's the thing. And I think that's also like I want to level set before we have this conversation okay. about Jojo Siwa, yes, because like we as fucking like almost 30 year olds recognize that like Jojo's 20 years old right she's we doing recognize this. she's doing the cringy silly things that a lot of us did when and we like, were teenagers off. and like that's fine it's I don't think we should be like judging people or like being super mean to people about that because like all of us are cringy and yes. like that's fine I like, always did the same shit yes yeah, so that's our god given right in my opinion however first of all there are a lot of abuse allegations about Jojo that are really important for us to talk about I was actually not familiar with those oh it's really upsetting and second of all this conversation is more so like it's similar to the Taylor Swift thing that like I think it's important to talk about how capitalism yes. ruins and like soils Devalues. things that are yes. like sacred. The thing about like cheapening art yes. like that solely for the purpose of being a cash grab is like so disrespectful. Especially and, when it's transparent. Well, and when somebody like like Chapel Roan is like still by you know most accounts like pretty successful. Obviously, she's yeah. you know like more of an up and. I would say anyone that can make it to mid, mid but and he's like that's I would yeah. be the dream. Well, I mean, yeah. she did like a, a headliner tour for her own music, right? Like she's definitely successful to some degree. Um, yeah, was, yeah. And there is still like so much heart behind yes. the music, right? Like she made, I mean, like a whole album, really, but like several songs that like center the queer experience and speak to what is actually like a really heartbreaking yeah. issue. Like, um, Good Luck Babe is like mostly about compact, right? Yeah. Um, and like it's a beautiful song that's like campy and fun, and there's like yeah. silly aspects but to it's it. Not, like, heavy but it and also like... will fucking crush yeah. you. Like it will crush it's your like little too... heart, and it's like so fucking well made. Yeah. And like she can still be successful and like have heart yes. behind it, is what I'm saying. I think it's that thing too where like, you know how when you see lyrics, like yeah. you like were to just say them out loud, and you're like, yeah, oh, this yeah. sounds so fucking stupid. But then a song it sounds perfect and yes. it fits what yes. it sits exactly as it should. Well it's not and just like what you say, but how you say it, yes. right? And yes. I think that's like the whole thing of it too, is just there's this like okay, so for me, yeah. we can just talk about like I'm talking about JoJo Karma really? as yeah. as a mu- as a single that has been released mm-hmm. from an artist. Mm-hmm. And like I don't understand this is where I get at because yeah. I just think to myself, if I had 
these resources and time and yes. privilege and this yeah. ability to like to hire like the best people you could there's just Literally so many the best there's the best. So, so many access to such good high quality resources yes and like this but also too oh the, my god there's so many things going on at the same time <laughs> i feel like i'm ready to fucking Take explode Take um but like this thing okay so you have this song you get yeah. the song you make the song you yes. sing to it you do all these also the court whatever Which, Really I'm not it's saying. it's very normal, by the way, for people to buy songs and this just not record thing. them. Yes. Buying a demo is so normal. That's, really how, that's how, not bad. Like that's a morally neutral and also yes. very common thing. Like for that's a, not the issue. For too. a lot of things too, for from my understanding is too, there will be like like 10, 15 producers will all be flown yeah. out by record labels. Yeah. They're all gonna go work for a couple weeks yes. and they bang out fucking pop songs. Yes. And then they go and, they and sell then the record the label goes, Who do you think this sounds good? Yes. Yeah. The record label yeah. like, okay, this is for Rihanna, yeah. this is for Gaga, mm -hmm. this is for fucking And sometimes you like make it for an artist and it doesn't vibe with them, so it gets given to a different Someone artist else. or somebody yes. else buys it, right? Like yes. this is very normal. People should really I'm stop sure Megan on her Trainor, for that aspect. Megan Trainer, like yeah. All about that bass actually was written for someone else. And yeah. she's like, oh, what if I just sang on it or something? Yeah. Something like that. But like basically, normal, the sharing of music, collaborative, like that's not weird. That's also yeah. why it gives like the credits on Spotify. Normally they're fucking long as fuck. Long as fuck. Because, yeah. you know, a lot if of people have their hands time, in a project before yes. it gets made into a pop and That's not the problem. Yeah. The problem with this, with JoJo, with me, in my opinion, is <laughs> how are you going to spend like just fucking. Fucking goddamn Ooh. shoving it down like Ooh. we're like baby, not even baby birding us, like force feeding us yeah. this fucking song that you're so proud of that you worked so hard on. Yeah. And then to come to find out, like, one, there's already another Brit, Brit, uh, I can't remember her I name. I can't remember that artist's name. But like, had already sing it, sung it, whatever. Yeah. I know. Identically, it, by the way. Identically, nothing. Yes. It's actually a better version. Yeah. The old two that, and also, too, it it's so crazy when I was listening to it. The first time we heard it and we sat down and watched the fucking thing, I was like, oh, this is like really giving like Rebecca Black's Friday. Yes. And I was like, I was like, oh, this is the same vibe. Then it come out, it was a 2010 song. Yeah. I knew it. I knew yep. it the whole time. <laughs> um, also, oh, I forgot to say too, sorry, real quick. What? In Fallout, my little Axel Waddle looks like the Axel oh, Waddle from the show. I kind of want to see it. Was and it like also, grotesque and scary? Uh, no, it was just weird. Okay, I can I show you. I can show you Axel Waddle. Yeah, I want to see it. Um, but also too, the Lucy's brother. I can't remember his name. I was uh -huh. like, that kid looks familiar. I know that kid looks familiar. I know yeah. he does. And I go, and I love, I love this about Amazon is that they yeah. have the, the, the X-ray. Yeah. The X-ray. Yeah. And I was like, I look at his little thing and it says Nacho Libre. And I was like, that's the fucking kid from Nacho Libre. He's all grown up. Your ability oh. to like clock somebody's yeah. face from a previous project is oh. wild. Well, and then the doctor dude, I was like, I was like, where do I know you? I know you from. And I was also yeah. the same fucking glasses. I'm pretty sure he wore yeah. in Lost. He was from uh, Lost, but I used to watch it with my dad. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. But also, too, I, that was like the like thing where we used to watch it, and then I'd go to the school. I was still yes. a teacher's pet, because me yes. and the teacher would talk about Lost. <laughs> Miss, um, Stop, that's so I, cute. I can't remember her name. Le Levy, I think. Actually, I think I just remember her name. Aww. Miss Levy. Maybe. Could have be wrong. Cute. But anyways, back to the music. Yeah. So you have all these resources and stuff, right? Yes. And then you sit here and you tell everyone, I'm so proud of this song I made. Yeah. Look at this thing I made. Yeah. And then every and then everyone is gonna fucking Twitter fingers their yes. way and they're like, oh, yes. you didn't make this. No. And then like to feel bad, like, why are you lying? Like, don't yes. say, but also to don't make up a fucking story yes. about how this song is about your ex and yada yada yada. Yes. And then like Well, and also yeah, to, like, song. okay, so here's the thing. Is that like again, it's very normal for artists to buy demos yes. or like whatever, right? But normal. first of all, First of all, a lot of times when that happens, when a demo will move from one artist to the next, there's some kind of spin that's being put on yes, it. Yes, right? something is getting changed. Yes, and so the original demo track, when you listen to it, has like obviously, like, first of all, like really hollow and like not super fleshed out vocals because it's meant to be like a template, yeah. right? But that's like the point is that you you take a template and you turn it into something that fits your style, yeah. right? And I think it's super valid if JoJo had wanted to release this song to be like, oh yeah, like I got you know I got you know, told about this, this song yeah. or whatever. And so we took this and decided to like really remake it into something that resonated with me. Like my when own. I listened to it, the story that came to me was like about my relationships. You yeah. all know that I've like come out recently, blah, 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 whatever. Like there is very much a way that she could have presented this first of all, like more transparently in my opinion. But second of all, to like really uplift a story about a young queer person coming yes. of age and coming oh, into their identity, started, here we go. Yes. right? And like that's a story that needs to be told. Like yes. representation really matters. You and I have talked about this a lot. That like queer people were not as uh, represented when we were kids. So totally. like it took us a lot longer to figure out our identity because yeah. that wasn't like shown to us as an option. So like she really had the opportunity with this giant platform to uplift this story yeah. that's like meaningful and important and like sure maybe the actual producing and the music of the song might not have been my taste but like that's again it's a story that needs to be told but yeah. we didn't do that right no. we sort of fabricated this whole thing about and she didn't like outright lie to be fair but there was very much this like 
representation of like, oh, I put my heart and soul into this creative project and like, did you though? Also, if you want to just make you music know? that you want to do choreography to, just, just, just yes, just, just do that. That's just the other thing, that. right? Is that like so JoJo like, is a dancer by trade, and so if you wanted to take this song and like maybe not you know sink your heart and soul into the actual production yeah, of it, yeah. but be like, oh, you know, like I feel really strongly about telling my story with my body and like somatically or whatever, and like I'm a dancer by trade, so I wanted sense. to tell this story perfect. through the medium that I feel most emotionally attached to. Say that. Do like, that. say that. Don't fucking <laughs> make this whole charade. so many ways that we could have gone about this that would have been more transparent and, like, in my opinion, a more, like, heartfelt and honest story. That's the thing that, that squeaks me is it's, like, the lack of transparency yeah. around it and the lack of authenticity because it really does feel like we just took this demo. We basically one for one the vocals, right? We added yeah. a little bit of, like, unnecessary, in my opinion, producing to make it, like, really loud yeah. and aggressive. And then we did this choreography with this story that's like nonsensical and is it's like aggressive confusing. to the eye. And also then have the audacity to get on like a fucking billboard interview and be like, I'm inventing gay pop. I'm about to bust another huh? word so bad. Like, Stop it. I, I, <laughs> Aaron's the joking. The interview Joe circuit, Joe said that the interview circuit though, seriously, has been the other craziest thing. Like, yeah. how are you going to be here in 2024 yeah. talking about inventing gay pop? Are you what is that? fucking serious? What does that are even you mean? so serious? That it's, is so also, to call disheartening it, to, to other call artists. It, I'm... To I'm call it gay pop? Are you taking my heart? It? I know. It hurts my heart. I I just like I I I ah it's, I don't even know how to react to that. Like I can't believe someone just got on an interview and said that. Yes. And then meanwhile though, with her, like, with her whole heart also and ass. the Gene Simmons thing of her going like, oh I don't know who that is, but I'll take a compliment to the yeah. next two. Then I love Gene Simmons so much. Also, yes. Gene Simmons is a piece of shit. He let on his wife for fucking decades. Is Gene Simmons and a piece of shit? I didn't know that. He's like, yeah, he's a fucking misogynist. Yeah. Uh, he fucking with this whole thing about I can get any woman I want. And, and he's, he's the fucking one too. I think that perpetuates the you know, oh sometimes you gotta have a fucking takeout meal before you can have a steak or whatever. Ew. You know the thing. Like, you can, like, yeah. having sex with fat women. Um, someone can check me on that, but I'm pretty sure he's the one who, because he would, like, also, like comparing sex with anything that would move. sexual partners to food is yes. so gross. Like, That's so dehumanizing. Yes. Um, and it's just very people. much, like, the, like, bachelor rock star mm -hmm. style, but then, like, I have this yes. woman at home um, who is, like, yeah. not white. Yeah, because did they end up even getting married? Because they had a whole TV show. I don't know. <laughs> a TV show. A TV show. I don't know shit all about Gene Simmons. But yeah, like he had a TV show basically where like you go around, they would follow him around and stuff or whatever, but like basically yeah. the whole, the prim one of the underlying premises is like yeah. Gene Simmons goes to the events, is surrounded by beautiful women, has sure. sex with beautiful women, goes back home to his wife, not wife, <sighs> that's just like stay, uh, holding out for a yeah. ring, well, not, oh, you know, just like so happy sad. to be. So whatever. Gross. Anyways, Gene though, Simmons sucks. I know where we were going with that, but yeah. But was... yeah, no, the the gay pop thing like really threw me for a loop, especially in the year twenty twenty four, where like it's very popular, very common, I would say, yep. for large TikTok presences like YouTubers to be making their own music, to be like self producing their own music, right? Yep. Like Chrissy Schlepecka, Peach PRC, like both of those people are first of all older than JoJo, I'm pretty sure but have been making music for like the last couple of years. And like, granted, it's not going to be to everybody's yeah. taste. I'm not saying that like Peach PRC or Chrissy Schlepecka are like the the ultimate representation no. of, of queer pop music. But like, at the they're very still least, those, it. but like at the very least, those are people who should be on JoJo's radar because they're like in a similar medium. That's what I don't understand. Right? What? I can like, yes. it irritates me to sort of diss like artists of your right. But like, I can understand that she's 20 and like is doing the thing like developmentally speaking where, like, I'm the star of my own movie and everybody else is just, like, supporting actors, fine. So maybe she doesn't have, like, the awareness for, like, artists that came, like, generations before sure, her. But, like, there Thanks. are people doing it now, though. Like, there's no world where she doesn't this is know not or, that or recognize yeah. that queer people have been making pop music that also, again, is telling stories about queer experiences that are incredibly meaningful Literally. and that are very transformative and that, like, speak to the experience of yeah. queerness both in, like, how challenging and traumatizing it is, but also how joyful and uplifting it is, it's, right? There's just so many layers to... It's just, this is the thing for me, because, like, the music... If JoJo just released that music on its own and wasn't yeah. running this press tour, it's like, I'm reinventing the fucking industry, yes. and, like, I made this thing that is quintessentially yes. a new thing, yes. even though you... I'm trailblazing. And also, I'll even give credit. I'll even look past, like, <laughs> JoJo Siwa maybe didn't fucking know. Sure. Because clearly, JoJo Siwa doesn't know how to work at Google. <laughs> I So, like, also, can you imagine, like, saying, I, if I was going to say something like that, like, I'm, I'm creating a new first. industry. <laughs> like, there are so many. The music, it's actually so fucking annoying. Yeah. How many subgenres of yes. everything and fucking music there 
there is. Yes. So like for you to come out here and just say like yes, gay, which is like one of the most or like like a, a it feels umbrella reductive. term, it feels and then reductive. pop, which is the popular music sphere yes. as a whole. So you're just gonna say like you're creating a genre of the two like most popular also yes. gay music or like gay music, but like music. music from like gay creators yeah. or queer creators yes. and like black people are like what the music industry is built on. Literally. Like, How are you yes. coming here? It's so, the other it's thing. so many levels of it to yes. irritate me. That's the other thing yes. is that like we have talked a lot on the channel about how all art is derivative to some degree, yes. right? And so like in my opinion, it's like a really odd take as a 20 year old, especially to be like, I have, first of all, by taking a demo that someone else created, I am reinventing yeah. the music industry. <laughs> like, first of all, no, you're not. But second of all, like whoever made that demo for you made it using precedent about music and pop music and like the creation of music generally that is stolen from the labor and the creativity of black folks, right? Like the black community invented most of the music that we listen yeah. to now, right? Like a lot of it is like derivative of that original like area of yeah. creativity that white people stole from black communities. Yeah. So, like, you as a white 20-year-old who is, like, like still exploring your queer identity like, fine. is is reinventing the music industry. Like, no, you're not. Also, no, you're too, not. That's the other thing, too. That's I think, so offensive. And I would love if you would talk about this more, I think, because there's things that I won't say. I have There's thoughts in here. No, no, there's thoughts I won't say. Just about the way the music video was done, too. Like, <gasps> yeah. it is so... When I said it, because there are some things I said. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed to say them on the pod mm -hmm. I don't know I feel like but I'm not even wrong that's the problem I don't know if I what? should say them but I'm not wrong okay. I'm not wrong it's the thing about I was like I was like was this directed by a straight person it does kind of have that energy can I say that I mean yeah listen I think this, this is a, an area that's important to tread lightly around right because like are we keeping this in right now yeah. okay okay I, I'm saying that I don't mean this in an, a, a rude way let me cook cook okay okay cook weirdness is an expansive experience and in my opinion it's like discriminatory and reductive to try to force people to fit into a box right yeah. so i'm not representing that like if someone doesn't behave the way that i think queerness should look that therefore that invalidates their queerness i think first of all that's like fucked up because you don't get to police other people's identities yes because we also but, talk about but second of all um the importance of like uplifting a, a diverse and like vast number of queer experiences only further benefits all of us in the community yes and i think there is also um a conversation to be had about the way that capitalism and like you know pursuing money first and foremost corrupts what is supposed to be like a creative and like emotionally cathartic experience yeah. to be more about farming clicks and views right jojo's marketing like, team has done yes the but work. like there was a lot of stuff in like the music video specifically that felt like it was inflammatory on purpose and i don't know if it was like inflammatory God, like if if we're really playing 5d chess to like inflame the queer community in this way um but like there were like it's the humping it's the humping yeah there's like choreography in that music video that just felt like what a straight teenage boy would think queer intimacy looks like by the, you know are written by a man is yes and like again i want to be clear that like queer sex is expansive mm -hmm. right there's no right or wrong way to have queer sex or queer intimacy or whatever but like just it felt very like infantile first of all but second of all again like like we've reduced what is actually a very expansive concept to be like a very simplistic and also like male-centric view about what queer sex looks like right? I was because like when i conjure up the image of like queer sex between like like myself and somebody else with a vulva, like and you would know. That's not my experience. Right? I you would know. That's not yes. That's not the first thing that I would like, jump to. Nor is it a thing that anybody else has ever like asked me to do or yes. like initiate. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I don't want to be like graphic about it, but I just like typically. I've speaking, seen the porn before. I, I know how. <laughs> yes, but also no. Like that's the thing is that like yeah. this concept of like scissoring and all of this stuff like it's not that people don't do that but it's but just like, that like it is very like male gaze and yeah even from when i was watching it yeah i was just like i was like i don't know who this i, I think yes. my my confusion and my frustration yeah comes from like i don't know who this is for because also yeah. too if that's the case with the the um jojo siwa has done or did something bad the uh yes, with the, the xlg children. Yeah, we're gonna I'm, talk I'm, about that in a second. Yeah, because I was just perpetuating the cycle yeah. of, of abuse that she herself survived. So I'm unfamiliar with that, but also if this is like this, 
I can't tell if this is like this loud blaring siren mm -hmm. to be like, look over here, look over here, look mm -hmm. over here. Like if that's what's going on too. That's exactly what it is. For real though, her marketing team, all the props, I all the kudos. Notch, I know. But also like fuck them though. Yeah. Because like that's a fucking disgusting oh, thing to do. Awful. Also, I know that's hard too because like they're doing their job, but like yeah. they're doing, they're really it's doing their like, job. It's the defense lawyer thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I, yeah, can you yeah. fill me in on what is okay. going on there? With so the I don't have all of the details. I'm sure that folks in the comments will be able to provide more detail about yeah. the allegations than I can. Yeah, I know nothing. But the general gist is that there was a like an expose that was made about Jojo Siwa and her mom. Okay. Because I, how familiar are you with Jojo Siwa's origin story? Oh, I didn't even know Jojo Siwa had been releasing music. Yeah. I thought this was Jojo Siwa's first song. No. Um, and then you showed me Jojo Siwa's actual discography, and I was like, uh -huh. oh. Yeah. And also, there's nothing wrong. Like, well, she, she was a child. Yes. Exactly. And also, too, I think, like, so to clarify real quick, Rebecca Black was, like, a child who wanted a yes. music a video career. for her birthday. Yeah. And unfortunately, the internet took hold yes. of it. And, like, honestly, like, uh, it is so kind. Of, we did listen to it's, it again recently. It is. Kind it's of bad. Sad. But also, it's fun for yes. like a birthday party thing. But it's silly. Yes, right? it's silly and it's not serious. No. And it's not like, that's not what that's supposed to be. And Don't also, like, a thing. kudos to Rebecca Black, yes. though, for like taking that thing that was like actually yes. probably pretty fucking traumatizing. God, can you imagine? And, like, I feel so bad for I Rebecca. I know she was Black. just a kid. She didn't know. Yeah. But like, she managed to turn that into something that, like, now, you know, she performs like a like an edited yes. version of that yes. at some of her live performances and so stuff. Much, like, like, she's embraced it. She's honored it. Like, yes, this was, in fact, Yes. A silly song that like, probably wasn't that good, yeah. but she like transformed it into something that is like you know a little bit self deprecating to be fair, but like yeah. is you know it's like a fun uh, thing that she took in stride yeah. and like ran with it, yeah. you know. And I, like, I respect that. Same, I also too, I would never do a disservice, but I always and um, as uh, I always get Rebecca Black and don't get mad at me, I always think that not to say I know I'm familiar with Carly Ray. But like I know, sometimes I'm like I'm like oh that's the same person. I know it's not. No, I love Carly Rae. I love I love I, I love everything. Yeah, like, I don't think we've talked about this on the pod. I, I am a Carly Rae Jepsen stan. I love I love, I love, I love her everything music. everything about her. She got robbed. I, I just oh, because I hated her music when we were kids because it was the like. Call me maybe. But era. there's so much more. The, even God, on emotion that album, is so good. Emotion is so good. Oh, yeah, no, 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 yeah, I just. Oh, I can I've been having Carly. little car concerts by oh, myself because emotion is so, so good. good. God damn. Anyways, I, love Carly I do too. Fuck Her me. little blonde eyebrows. God Woo. damn. Anyways, don't even give me this. <laughs> Stop. Anyways, um, please make your point about JoJo because you were talking about. I don't even remember what it was. Okay. Start talking oh, about oh, oh, okay. So let me explain JoJo Siwa's origin story to you. So, Jojo Siwa was a child oh, actor oh, on yeah. this show called Dance, dance Moms. Moms. Yeah, that's all I know. Yes. And Amy Lee Miller is on Abby, Dance Moms. Abby Lee Miller Abby was the Lee. dance coach um, for Abby Lee Miller Dance Studios yeah, or whatever. It's like in Vegas or something, right? Or I don't know. It doesn't matter. But the whole show premise was about all of these kids. It wasn't just Jojo, mm -hmm. but all these kids who were part of this dance studio that Abby is so mean to. That's She's all I know. She's awful, cruel right? Cruel and abusive. Not just like in the tough love way. Not no, just in like the way where like sometimes your coach is like, you need to do better, right? It was like genuinely, truly traumatizing and abusive ass fucking behavior. I've seen clips She's, of the fights from like yes. the show for the moms. And, and the moms would like fight with each other. But like they would have these terrible like screening matches at the kids, like about the kids. in front of the kids, kids right? Yes. And, like oh. the moms would fight with Abby in front of the kids. It was this whole thing where like. God, that's awful. The amount of abuse that Abby Lee Miller keeps on to those children is like, first of all, obviously inappropriate, but second of all, it's wild to me that it got filmed and put on TV. Which channel was on Discovery or TLC or something? I don't remember. It was one of the weird, oh, like, well, anyway, um, yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but it's cable but TV, so yeah. with this TV show, obviously some of the kids, um, with their popularity, and they made money, and like the kids were well to do to begin with. It wasn't that expensive to it's be. It's an expensive people were, like, studio. Paying to go to like fucking yes, like a tr troubled teen camp. It almost sounds yeah. like just being um, punished. But some of the kids ended up, you know, transforming that into a yeah. career and other avenues. And so, like, you know, the moms would pay for studio time for the kids to make music. JoJo ended up releasing a series Which of songs. Not that weird. Yeah. No, they're kids shit, right? Yeah. They're just like silly little kids bop kind of things. And like, I think that's more than so fine. Honestly, it's I'm, fine. So, I'm a little jealous. I will yeah. not. I'm a if, little envious. If I had the the money and my child was like into creative. Yeah. Stuff like that, I'd be like, okay, you know. Meanwhile, like, I got turned away from playing drums because I, I couldn't know. arbitrarily copy a pattern. I the feel like your stuff. life would look so different. I, I don't even want to talk about it. I actually think about that moment like regularly. Yeah, I was just a little fifth grader and I got rejected and turned away. I know. But like, oh, you're not in band anymore. Literally. After one day, and I just remember walking around the campus. I was just distraught. 
Like, I was just walking around. I, so I just, like, I was like, so I'm not in band anymore. Like, do I go back to my homeroom? Or, like, I know. I can't believe they kicked you out. They didn't, like, kick me out. I don't know. But I didn't know if it was that thing where, like, you can go pick something else. Or, like, you yeah. just, it was, like, so unclear. Like, it was just like, oh, you didn't make yeah. it. And then I was just gone. But also, like, the fact that that was the only assessment is, like, just copy this one yeah, pattern. Like, and if you don't right, do it right, immediately, yeah. then you're, like... Yeah. Get fucked, kid. Like, that's really And weird. I get there was a lot of kids and stuff that wanted to do it and shit, too. Oh, also, sure. richness. But also, like, post an audition process and then post the results yeah. of that later. Like, normal people. I, because also, uh, yeah, also the best part was the kids who didn't even do it the next year then, too. Um, who, like, who, dropped out of band. Yeah. I, your spot. That was my origin story. I think that's also really that's when the rejection sensitivity really yeah, set no, in. Yeah, that definitely did help. Um, I'm so sorry. Continue. Anyways. Um, so JoJo Siwa released some of this like little kid music, yeah. right? Maddie Ziegler was another people, another person. Maddie Ziegler sounds familiar. She is the dancer that uh, Sia uses for all of her problematic projects. Oh, yes. Poor Maddie Ziegler is a child that's Sia's being... problematic. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've heard. And she's like, I don't know to what degree she's pressuring Maddie Ziegler into participating in these projects, but it's a weird vibe. It's a weird ass fucking the, vibe. The autist, the yes. autism. Sia or... released this movie about autism that was awful. And, like, yeah. also not at all a representation of what uh, autism looks like. God, it's terrible. Sucks. It felt like a hate crime. It kind of is a hate crime. Also, I just can't imagine, again, it's the resources, things. Like, you couldn't yes. find someone that had yes. more information. or like. And also, like, or, like Maddie could... Ziegler expressed, like, uh, discomfort. Because she was like, I'm not autistic. Don't you think we should have someone who's autistic in this role? And Sia was like, no. It's really weird. Sia's fixation with Maddie Ziegler is a different topic for a different day. Continue. Sorry. But um, the point I'm making is that some of these kids sort of transformed their Branched dance mom's into popularity into other projects. Sense. JoJo Siwa did this by popularizing herself the and, like, branding herself she, with the bows. I just know she sold bows and, like, a lot of merch yes, with she, her face on it. Yes. She has been, like, JoJo with the bobo for, like, the entirety of her... That's not a girl I would thing. say. I'll, I'll but it's, like, a kid like, thing. I only think of Bobo the Clown. <laughs> yeah. But so that was the other thing, is that after this success, she started releasing, like, you know, a line of hair bows and stuff, because she yeah. just had a bow in her hair. They're giant, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. But then, like, that turned into... Like a a board game and t shirts and puzzles and just like literally any fucking crap merch item that you could license with your face or a bow on it, JoJo did it and sold it. Are and JoJo like stands? Oh yeah. At the time I guess there were when she was doing her like, you know, more okay. childlike, you know, whatever. Um, okay. so that turned into this fucking empire where now apparently JoJo's like actually fucking rich rich. Um, and again, like her family was well to do to begin yeah. with, but so she survived this like very abusive environment okay. and dance moms turned that into like selling any piece of shit merch item that she could possibly slap okay. her face on. She wrapped her whole car in I pictures know. of her face. Just like, it's a whole thing, it's right? It's like a thing. Okay. Um, but so her and her mom decided that they wanted to start a children's pop band group, like, like NSYNC kind of, okay. but with real children. Like, oh. like children. I don't remember how young the youngest one was, but like not teenagers, children, right? Like preteens. Oh, I hurt my neck. They just plugged. Yeah, yeah. Turn over because. Um, and like they're not teenagers. No, which first of all is problematic because children can't also, appropriately consent. There's so consent. many parents who are just ready to. Yes. It's like giving your children to the wolves. Yes. This is. Oh, is whole, this where we're going? Yes, is a whole problematic okay. issue with like allowing or or like choosing. To, to try to recruit children to participate in labor that they yeah. can't appropriately consent to in the form of being these, like, dancing, singing pop stars, whatever. JoJo is sucking my manic energy out of my body. The because... allegations that have come out about the treatment at this, like, studio that JoJo and her yeah. mom started, this XOMG pop whatever, um, is that they're terribly abusive people. That like they're, JoJo and them are? Or... Yeah, like, the working conditions were terrible, that the kids were subjected she to, like... She strikes me as the type that's probably yelling at that, like, doing it, the same shit it she kind saw. kind of... As... I don't know if the allegations are that JoJo yelled at them, necessarily, but, like, the allegations that I'm aware of specifically are about the working conditions being, like, yeah. inhumane, basically. Inhumane? Yeah, like, not appropriate Are they paying children. to be in this thing, too? Or the are they kids are paying them, yeah. So... The kids pay JoJo for the, the opportunity. The kids are paying JoJo. Yeah. To be, again, it's and just also like the that, like, they promised these kids, like, oh, you know, we're going to make you pop stars, and then it just kind of dematerialized. Like, that ended up turning into nothing, basically. So they just got, like, this awful, yes. abusive Yes, and also they got nothing out of it. So, like... The, and they paid for this. Yeah, from my understanding. I'm sure that if I'm wrong, yeah, either. please correct me also. if I'm wrong in the comments. But, again, like, the, the reason that this is important to talk about okay. is because all of the to do that we had about karma and this music video that ultimately kind of amounted to a nothing burger, right? Like I don't really YouTube. like the choreography and I don't really think it's like very good, but it's not like noteworthy really. Yeah. It didn't reinvent anything. Excuse. Also question. If anyone knows, why does everything on YouTube go through Bebo? 
Yeah, what's I don't that know about? How, I don't know. It's been like that since we were kids. We're not YouTube. Yeah, I don't know. Does Vivo just, just own? Is Vivo getting a cut? How are they breaking down the ads? Because that video, video got a lot of clicks. Yeah. A lot of views. So like, mm-hmm. there's a lot Very of like that. That video probably made a couple milli. Yeah. So probably. like, yeah. who? How is that money getting? Shit, if I know. Seeing that, you know. Unclear. Yeah. Well, maybe you can help me I get this back on track and. <laughs> Figure it out. Anyways, so the allegations about XOMG, yeah. the little pop project. XOMG? Yes. Okay. Um, those allegations that. broke right before JoJo started promoting Karma. The timing of that feels very intentional and also very Really? Shady. Yes. Yeah. So there was a That's lot of... That's why this is JoJo's bad aesthetic now is because uh, JoJo's yes. actually just a bad person. I kind of yes. that way. There was a lot of, like, chit-chat about, you know, like, JoJo needs to be held accountable for this and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, we started being really outlandish with this music video and all this stuff, and now yeah. the attention has been turned away. Also, can we talk about, too, I know... I've, like, I, I've like joked. I have, like, seriously joked. I'm not actually going to start smoking cigarettes. Um, okay. But I... Bad for you, you should Yes. Um, but I really, I'm like, you know, if I just, like, smoke for a year, just to get, like, a little bit of a rasp, you know, just to get, like, the little smokers thing. No. Like, I think that would sound really cool. But also, I'm like, ah, realistic, like, lung cancer is not a joke. Like, that's no, not yeah, worth, that's you not know. Cute. But also, too, like, the rasp thing that JoJo is doing, like, is that JoJo? I don't know what JoJo sounds I don't know. like. So, like, is that real? It's hard to know. Or, like, also, <laughs> I was going to make a joke, but, and I will make the joke, that it's probably what? from her straining her vocal all the fucking time. There is, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of chat about that, too. That, also, like, she's not you can't tell me her release event wasn't a bunch of pain. Also, yeah. ew, gross, Colleen Ballinger and James Charles being in this, ew, ew, ew. Yeah. That the is fact, so The fact that JoJo C was continuing to associate herself with people who are known abusers is so Bad fucking look. gross. But also, too... The people that you keep in company for you yes. says so much yes. about you yes. as a person. And granted, to be fair, Colleen Ballinger did very much, uh, allegedly, uh, allegedly, groom I'm... JoJo. Not in a sexual way necessarily, totally. but in the way that like but... Colleen Ballinger and her family were in JoJo's life to a, an inappropriate degree when JoJo was a child. So it's entirely possible that JoJo has a bond with Colleen Ballinger that's a reflection of, like, being groomed or manipulated, more so than it is of, like, JoJo's actual yeah. values aligning with that. But again, it is, again, like, worth noting, in my opinion, that, like, just, the, the people you keep company with, you know, like, also, I think you're right. Gosh, I just don't understand, too. How, like, people like James Charles, like, how does he still continue to make money? Like, are, like, I... It's upsetting. It's, you know, you know, people it's who upsetting. want to be pop stars and can't sing seem to flock together, I guess. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a mean joke. I mean, like, you know, who, who the fuck am I? But. Okay, so let me read you some of these XOMG pop. Oh. People who are making the allegations. I, they're okay. named in this Vulture article, but I don't know. The allegers? Like, yeah. Is the allegers? Would that be a... Uh... Um, yes. Alleged that the participants in the show were subjected to insults from Jessalyn, who is JoJo's mom. Okay. Uh, Jessalyn and JoJo, grueling rehearsal schedules and a cutthroat environment that pitted the young contestants against each other among multiple Like, plays. as I was... Like, just real quick, I'm just thinking, like... If I experienced something like that, I feel like I would be so acutely and keenly aware. Yes. Like, why would I continue to perpetuate that on, yes. like... And that's the thing, so too. Mean. This is why it's important to talk about this, because a lot of people have this trope of, like, the abused becoming the abuser. Far and away, that is not the case. Yeah. Most often what happens when you've been subjected... And this is proven in the research? Yes, okay. yes. Most often what happens when you've been subjected to like, life-altering abuse as a child is that you become a highly empathic person who yeah. is, like, very attuned. Sometimes you become, like, a people pleaser, and obviously there's, like, s- certainly dysfunctional or, or, like, maladaptive coping things yeah. that we develop that's obviously important and press to unlearn. But this trope of, like, if you've been abused, you will obviously become a terrible person yeah. is not true. Because also, too, it's getting, like, no wonder millennials don't fucking hit their kids nearly as much as yes. they like... The yes. whole, like, well, our parents did it to us and we turned out fine. Yeah. Like, no, motherfuckers, no. you guys did not. No, you, you did not. not. You think it's okay to hit kids. Yeah. That's not Puff okay. Puffin' yeah. lead. No um, some of the other allegations here are that the producers actively tried to make kids cry on camera. Um, that's so... Making children cry? Yeah. And JoJo's attorneys apparently said that that's 100% provably false and instead criticized the producers. Um, oh, wait, so the... So basically, they're writing it off as, like, JoJo not doing JoJo it. JoJo doesn't believe in this. It's, it's against JoJo's values. Okay. But if the producers did that, that's not JoJo's fault, basically. Except it's, it's their thing that they're going yes. to JoJo for that you're like, yes. this is what we talk about, like, I, is it celebrities? Is it just bad people are inherently 
bad people and so like they're fine i just yeah. can't imagine like a thing you're responsible for you're putting your face on yeah. like where's the responsibility because it's not in the room with them no really, exactly. wherever they are um also trigger warning for this next session where section we're going to talk more um in detail well, about more? like child abuse yeah okay. um trigger warning so yeah if child abuse and like especially child injury is a button for you don't watch this the Sandersons alleged that treatment got worse once the show ended and XOMG Pop became a full-time group. Um, one of the allegers, who has spina bifida, recalls bleeding through her belly button during a rehearsal. Allegedly, instead of having Leah take a break, Jessalyn told her to put a maxi pad on it to protect her costume. Uh, this person also alleges that after a surgery, she was told to come back to work before the physician recommended recovery period. These are children. Children. I was like, that adults... Stringer. Yes, that adults are... First of all, like knowingly having these children participate in grueling rehearsal schedules when they're injured, but also are apparently having like a flagrant disregard and lack of care. Also, for these the kids. parents were just leaving their kids there to like. I mean, they. I mean, they signed up for it. Yeah, I don't know. I struggle with that because I. It's like. I don't agree with putting your kid in a pop thing, but also you should be able to trust that a paid professional won't abuse your child, yeah. right? Like just. It's just, it's all bad. It's all it's bad so and, and shitty and sad. It's so disheartening to just watch, like, the people. I think that's the other thing, too, is, like, the amount of success JoJo has, especially, like, it, on yes. this music alone, is, like, yes. something that so many people, not like that, I know, like, all press is good press, you know, like, that sort of thing. Sure. But, like, a thing that so many artists and, like, people I know, like, like just strive, like, work so hard for. Yes. I know we've talked about this before. Yeah. And to just, like, so have such a disregard for uh -huh. like in your respect mm -hmm. to like art and creativity and like but then also like being a decent person yes like it's not it's so also upsetting. that's why sometimes too i think like i know there was like a video of people like reacting like other artists reacting to jojo siwa's and yeah. i understand like keeping up appearances and stuff or whatever sure, sure, but also sure. like fuck that to some degree too yeah. because like if you were gonna sit out here and like do the fucking most to like write this narrative that like you're transcending the music industry and like creating right. this and trendsetting and all this yeah. thing. And you're not no. like Jojo Siwa for real comes across to me as someone who like, no one has told her no them. Yeah. Her no, I don't her. know. Has told her no. And like, I just don't like, you, she must have so few friends because who is not telling her like, dude, what are you fucking doing? Why are you doing Like this? I ask you all the time. Like I have so much music that I'm like, I, that honestly is probably pretty good, I think. Yes, it but is. But I'm so afraid. Like, I'm just so... I know. I have, like, the worst... Uh, yeah. It's like But also, thing. too, like... I always ask, but I always ask, yes. but I'm like, I need you to be so for real. And like, I would never tell you, oh, this is great, you should release yeah, this, and if you it's you put your bad. ass out there? No. Like, like, that's part of what really loving somebody looks like, yeah. is being honest with them. I know. Both when they're fucking something up, and they're being shitty, but also when something is, like, objectively bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's been really sweet. You've been... You know? you've been you've, we've been doing toiling checks lately. Yes. Um, yeah, because you my depressive struggle with strategy <laughs> lately is uh, to toil. Yeah. And just make myself more upset and yes. angry, which it, is It really is, like, emotional self harm. Yeah, kind of. I could see why artists and rock stars would break their guitars on stage. I, I could see it. I bet that's satisfying. No. Uh, They're doing it for a different reason, though, than yeah, I was doing I think it for. It's more for performance value. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, but it no just, it's like, just really upsetting. No one's telling her, no one's telling her no, huh? Apparently not. No. Anything for a quick buck, I feel like. But that's the thing, too, that, like, why this is so offensive is that releasing this song, like, it's bad, it's offensive to the queer community, it's, like, in my opinion, a disrespect of, like, the, you know, sacred nature of creativity, yeah. but it also, you use this thing that is bad to cover up. in order to cover up something that's, yeah. like, actually really a harrowing allegation about mi mistreatment it's and abuse. The, um, it's, like, the Republican, like, Donald Trump yep. strategy of just, like, put so Keep much saying fucking... terrible things. It's, like, propaganda. Like, yes. you put so much... Yeah. shit out there that like people you don't even get a it's chance not shocking you don't get a second. Yeah. um yeah and also too because of course like how could we not take the bait talking about it and stuff i know yeah but like also like it it's just such it's a it's really shitty it's so inflammatory yeah on so many different levels yeah and again i don't know to what degree that is more jojo's like marketing or management team than it is yeah. her specifically but in my opinion like if your name is on it your face yeah. is on it right like we've talked about this ad nauseum um, you and I in private about like the discord server and all of this stuff that like, you know, I don't think it's a secret that I've had a lot of anxiety about adding people to the mod team Absolutely. and all of that, because like, in essence, what I'm doing is putting my community's safety in these people's hands, right? Yeah. Like I don't take that lightly. No. And like, ultimately if somebody on the mod team or like, you know, who helps us with the channel or whatever was doing shitty shit, like that's on me. It comes on you. It's, it's yeah. my fucking responsibility to make sure that anybody that I allow 
into our community and into our like yeah. little sphere of influence is a good person who's like taking that seriously. Yes. I think so. Like JoJo's the one with the platform. She's the one who needs to be like thinking critically about yeah. her marketing and her her producing and like all this stuff. But also, I think too, like it's just the richness of it for me and the like. For instance, like if we had done something similar or like anything even close to what oh, I Georgia Siwa had done, and I'm not yeah. saying life is fair or anything like that to be fair, no, 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 but no, I think the like the level of stuff level that you yes. versus like someone like Jojo Siwa, yeah, like it's amazing, like it's it, like it, it's like not night and day, like yeah. there are people doing heinous as shit, yes, and people are like, ah, you know, yeah, yeah, better, yeah, like well, and also that, that like yeah. she's still continuing to profit from this and, oh, and have a career very much from so this. i would say that this, you know? this release has probably been yeah that's the thing yeah. that's, that's really also upsetting. again to like anything jojo might be feeling or whatever too like i'm sure is fine behind the scenes crying into her money dollars yeah, say, yeah wiping her crying into a hundred dollar bills. bills like yeah yeah it's the thing when like you become so rich like we are not having like we do not live on the same yes well and again it's also anymore it's also important to talk about the like accessibility of resources right yeah jojo has money to buy the best therapist that she that like money can buy go to therapy every day literally you know like when people simp for celebrities and stuff like this when they're going through like a public issue like first of all they can't hear you and they're not going to pick you because they don't actually care about like people in the way that normal people do right um but also that like they have the access to resources to make sure that they're okay like regular everyday people fucking don't right like those kids who are being no. subjected to those working conditions don't have access to the same amount of wealth that JoJo Siwa does. Well, and the yeah. reality of it is, too, between the music, the music, the licensing, and I'm sure, uh, uh, not incidentals, the stuff you uh, receive. Supplies. No, 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 the, the money you receive when you make, like when people work on a TV per show. DM. No, like when you, the no, residuals? Yeah, oh, residuals. residuals. Yeah. yeah, like... Jojo Siwa could very easily disappear, yes. hide, and never, like, work, have to work another day, like, the re- no. rest of us Joes and Schmoes yes. have to fucking go to work every exactly. day still and, like, make a living because we have again, to exist and live and eat. Yes. Jojo Siwa's family was well-to-do to begin with, like, you know? This is not a rags-to-riches story, either. No. Like, Miss they very much, shit. they very much have a, a backup plan to fall back yeah. on, and they're choosing to not utilize it. They're, they're a family, yeah. you know? I think this, I think, especially to, um, as they start, probably start, uh, getting ready to wrap it up, up here. Yeah. I think in, in a weird way too, uh, karma has been the best thing for, uh, chapel. Oh, for I know. The, Cause like the contrast could yes. not be any more. Could not be greater. I feel like you have, it, it just really like, I'm not saying it to be mature either or whatever, but like. The level of artistry and stuff. Yes. Like, so... Well, and I think there's also an aspect of, like, relatability to a lot of the music that's being made by up-and-coming queer artists like Chapel Mm Roan. Because it feels very much... I mean, like, the album is called The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess. Yeah. Right? Like, she's made a very... Well, yeah, she's made, like, a very public show of being, like, a normal person. Yeah. Right? Like, a lot of her promo... Uh, photos literally she has like lipstick on her teeth right oh, it's like yeah. campy and fun and yes, silly yeah. but also it's not intended to be this like image of her like up on high yeah. you know what I'm saying like one of her songs is called fucking hot to go mm-hmm. you know it's giving little Caesars yeah but like in the best Caesars. yes in the best like fun but like it's just like a very like real experience yeah. you know I think I it totally speaks agree. to a lot more of people's real life ass yeah. queer experiences, you know? Yeah. Then, then this song that is like very over the top and like overdone, yeah, but, but like it not, says, but yes. says nothing. That's it says the thing. Nothing. Like, is it like I don't have anything against being over the top, right? Like I love of that. Of course. I think it's great being like over exaggerated. Yes, right. And like I love drag. I love people Absolutely. like Gaga, Absolutely. right? Like that's very over. Like she wore yeah. a fucking meat dress. Oh, it's Miss. Her... It's Miss Gaga now. We don't do. Lady is. Lady has left the building. <laughs> I was like, what? Is, we have business Gaga now. Stop. I do like Lady Gaga. No, I do too. Um, but we're but no, like I don't have face. anything against being over the top, but yeah. I think like being over the top with a purpose mm-hmm. is so much more meaningful than just being yeah. over the top just to do it. You know? Agreed. Like just gluing rhinestones onto things because <sighs> painting your face for the, the fuck of it. Like, yes. Also, you can do that, and it's still it just. But also, the thing yeah. is that like it's it's very much like picking a lane, right? Yeah. If you want to glue rhinestones onto your face just for fun, then like. Do that. Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. Right? That's fun. And again, there is like a need in the world 
for people to make silly music that's just fun, right? Of course, like, music does I'm just be, doing this. It shouldn't be serious all the time. Like, no, yeah. no, but you don't get to have both. You don't get to do the like, oh, like give me a break because it's just a silly project that's fun and it's meant to be like whatever. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm I'm transcending. I'm creating gay pop. Yeah, no, like you can't you can't have both. Can't like both. pick a lane, mm -hmm. you know, be be like substanceless and fun. If that's your lane, and I think the world needs that, yeah. But you don't get to then like speak over top of and say that you are like transcending people who are doing this yeah. transformative. Work. I think also too, it just so much feels like the image that's coming to my mind right now is JoJo walking on top of all the heads of yes. the actual gay artists yes. who have like, actually had to like fucking yes. like actually had to fucking yes. make waves and like go through like fucking yes. discrimination and shit to There's, like actually be cut like yes. be allowed to even perform and yes. stuff. But also too, like this is why it's important when you are a person who's learning how to embrace a marginalized identity like being queer, mm -hmm. that you educate yourself about the people who have come before you. I right? Guess, I feel like it's like a very you do that out of respect. It's like a very like not that I have anything against Gen Z because like, you know, whatever. But it is kind of like a Gen Z thing of like when Gen Z's, like, throw shade at millennials for being, like, oh, I don't understand why you guys are so, like, cringy or, like, embarrassing or, yeah. like, I don't oh. understand why you guys, like, won't embrace your, like, queerness or, like, especially the take of, like, um, like, why, like, gold star lesbian as a phrase is really toxic, right? Like, oh. this idea that, like, if you yeah, haven't been... Yeah, didn't know. If we didn't know. Like, we didn't know. That wasn't a thing. People literally got hate yeah. crimes when we were in high school yeah. for being gay. Literally, yeah. People actually, had to, like, yeah. oh my gosh. change schools because they yeah. came out and had and to people leave. people fucking were so goddamn Because people mean. were fucking vicious to these God, kids. Yeah, you're so right. I forgot you know? about that. And, like, the world that you're living in now where being queer is, like, fun and part of the, like, in-group yeah, was not that the world is not, you that we not grew up in. And so, like, in order to be a queer artist... You had to be a very brave and like oh, big person. Yeah, like and, I mean, like, I was, like actually to like, say like, that you are speaking over top of those people is so fucking disrespectful, well, especially for yes. the people who were actually harmed, right? Who were like literally, but also like figuratively, emotionally, yeah. spiritually harmed by choosing to be who they are, yes. even though it was going to be like an unsafe environment for them. Yeah. Like we, you know what I'm saying? Like That's why I said I don't. After everyone paved the way. Yes, yeah, I don't have like, anything against. Here. I don't have anything against Gen Z because I think Gen Z of is like great not. for a lot of reasons, and I'm happy. Obviously, that the world to, is a safe place. Yeah. But still, there is an aspect of like how important it is to educate yourself about the yeah. fact that the world was not always this well, way. Well, I think we talk about that too when like you see um, trans people who have gotten to grow old, mm -hmm. and like yes. gay and queer people who are old. Yes. Is like. There's that a thing that like it should be celebrated, it now. Yeah. yeah, because like that was not the no. the likelihood of that is like was very low. Yeah, and yeah, I think it was it's like just genuinely so, a really scary thing. Yeah, it's so disrespectful to think those people yes. who like had to act, you know. Yes, and like for a lot of people who had to hide, it's a walking right? to so run. Yes, and, yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah. like we need to educate ourselves about that and like also uplift those stories and talk about that. Yeah, because again, this could have been a great moment for JoJo to talk about like you know how. All the, the learning that she's done about the community, like, informed yeah. this decision, but, like, we didn't do that. I think yeah. at every point, like... You can Instead, just, like, we used it as a cover-up for yeah, her abuse. The, the confidence has taken up all the space there is for any learning in that little sponge. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that she can write off her fucking terrible decisions and, like, abusing children and be like, aren't I so silly and quirky, though? Look how, no. Look how face makeup. You're an abuser. That's terrifying. Um, okay, I just wanted to leave you guys all with something that's a little, it's like kind of boring, like, that's not boring, it's like a little bit more like statistical. Okay. Um, apparently I didn't know how to say the word statistical very well and I still have trouble with it, but I'm saying it a lot more now because I'm just practicing it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so music over the course of a lifetime, mm -hmm. what age do you think is your peak influence age for music? Because I know what mine is, but what do you think, like, statistically speaking? So, like, from the statistics, what do we know about people's, like... like Ability to be influenced by music like, at that a certain age, like or like that, like principle? will probably influence your taste in music. Oh, I do yes. know the answer to this question. Already. How TikTok? I'm sorry. How old is it? It's like college, isn't it? No. Oh. Not according to the New York Times. Okay, what is um, it? The peak influence age is actually from 13 to 16. Oh. Is your influence? Yeah. Uh, New York Times an analysis of Spotify data revealed that our most played songs often stem from our teenage years, particularly between the ages of 13 and 16. And yeah. this also came in response to, because Spotify just does the most piss-poor job now of recommending new music. Yeah. Um, yes. And there's a conversation to be had, I think, about, like, how much time it takes to actually go, like, seek out new music. Because I know we talk yes. about this all the time, our music becoming stale and stuff. Yes. Um, and it's hard, because, like, I feel like the recommendations and stuff, it's like, oh, you can have the same music you've been listening to. Yes. But it's not, like, music that sounds like, like stuff you like yeah, that's no. new. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, 13 through 16, does that sound? Honestly, that makes sense, though. That makes so much sense for me. Yeah. yeah. I feel like mine is probably closer to college, but that might also be because I, like, came out to myself as a queer yeah. person and, like, had a lot of identity stuff happening in college. High school was a miserable time for me. I, I was really depressed during that time, so I don't think I was yeah. really having a lot of fun with music. I feel like you did your depression earlier on. Yes. And I'm enjoying mine now. Like, I'm reveling in mine and having this... I'm enjoying yeah. it now. Your appetizer, or your entree came late. Yeah, it did. <laughs> but this entree is like a shit sandwich. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, I mean, Sorry, I can your do shit so sandwich. many... Oh, that's okay. We do, we just, you know, take yeah. it as they come. At least we're not both eating a shit sandwich at the same time. Oh, God, it's hard. But you know what's so funny, though, is the crazy thing about our relationship? If someone's down, the other one's up, yes. and, like... Like, come on, baby, we're going. Or yes. What's that? Like, let's go lesbian. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. let's go lesbians. Let's yes. go. Yeah, no, I definitely very careful like yes. that. Because like, yeah. I'm in a shit mood, but I see you're also in a shit mood. I'm like, don't worry, I got you. I'm, yeah. I'm happy, yes. campy, fun, Same. and ready to ready yeah. to rock. And like, here we are. Here yeah. we go. Let me uplift you. Let me. Yeah. Let me How do you take care of your partners? Yeah. Okay. Your guys... Actually, put that in the comments. What a yeah. nice um thing for us to end on. Because I know for you, when mm -hmm. you're feeling, especially. For you, oftentimes what happens is a feeling of overwhelm okay. and a feeling of, like, shame and judgment about not being able to manage what is actually an unmanageable amount of, of expectations for you. You think I have being. an unmanageable amount of expectations? You do for yourself. You are really hard on yourself. Oh, man. You think that I you should be able to mean. do everything. And so there's a feeling of overwhelm followed by this feeling of shame, which then... I should be able to do everything. It, which, yeah, is then a feeling Don't of, like, depression. Don't even talk to me. I Don't even do talk. I'm you not saying... no space I'm in this saying. fucking room. I'm not saying that you're unique in that aspect. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm not even unique. I'm not, you are the, you're I'm the not fucking pretending king, queen, gesture of the fucking. I'm not I pretending do it all. that I don't have that issue. Also, I'm just speaking to what I've observed about you. As long as everyone's on the same. So page, the way so the way that I will support you usually is by taking practical stuff yeah. off your plate. I know that if you're feeling overwhelmed and kind of down, yeah. that like me, uh, like cleaning the house, doing laundry, taking practical stuff off of your mm. plate will help uh, clear up your mental space. Oh, a little. Speaking of that too, I saw a picture. Um, of someone's like depression den, mm -hmm. and then they cleaned it up. There was like an after picture of them cleaning it up. Yeah, it made me so yeah. emotional. It's really hard. I don't know. Why. I think for like the first time, like it really resonated. Like, granted, yes. our house never like really turns into that, but sure. it's just like yeah. Like, but really also too, like I think that's part that. of why it's so emotional is that like if we didn't have each other to do God, the, like, yeah. then like that's probably what like my apartment would definitely look like. Oh that. no, we started on a good note and then we ended it sad again. I don't think it's not sad, sad, it's sad in a sweet way. I, well, I think it's also too if you're a person who has like a depression room or like your yeah. house gets really dirty, like please know that that's very normal. It's really fun, yeah. You're not gross. You're not bad. You're not like disgusting. You're still a good person. Yes. Like that's a very normal thing to happen and like also, you know, like, people who love you want to love you. I tell my clients that all the time. Yeah. Like, let people love you. Let, I, I know, people, you and me The both. people who love you want to love you. Yes. And so, like, you're let them love you. You you're know? Yes. No, you're not a burden. And also, yeah. people who really love you won't judge you, right? Facts. I have helped my best friend clean her depression house, and she has helped me. Like, that's a, a universal like a human take. experience. Yeah, yes. It is. I literally yeah. walked, like, I went over to my best friend's house one time, and she sat on the couch because she was so depressed and, like, could not function. And I cleaned her house for her. And friend. we just, like, chatted. And yeah. I was so happy. Like, we were just chit-chatting, having a nice time. Yeah, being yeah. And I make fun yeah. of her cleaning products because I think they're worse than mine. <laughs> it was, like, a very, you know, you like, know let I'm... people love you is what yes. I'm saying. There are people who are happy to do that for you because, like, you're magical. And also, like, that's the beauty in being in relationships, right? Yes. It's not, like, that you're clean and perfect all the time, but that they just get to be with you yeah. as a person. I think I take that for granted sometimes because we have been in a relationship for so long, yes. so I forget. But yeah. yeah. No, that's like that. the magic of having a support community. Yeah. Thank People you for love that. you for you. So. All right. What a nice inspirational speech. Let's get out of here. Uh, thanks for coming and for watching listening. the pod. Also, this is, uh, we should unpack this, by the way. We, <laughs> we unpacked forgot. it already. We Sorry. Forgot. Um, I'm Mickey. That's Aaron. Thanks for coming. If you want to support us. Does it matter at the end? I don't know. <laughs> It's fine. If you want to support the pod, you can like the episodes and leave us reviews and all the things. Um, what other words? We'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, bye. bye.